views expressed on this program are those of the hosts, guests, and callers, and are not necessarily those of this station, its management, or other advertisers. You're listening to Transformation Talk Radio. Live an enlightened and authentic life by standing in your own power. The Dr. Bree Show, The Goddess Emergence, brings forth new information supporting the ascension process happening on the planet now. Learn the true meaning of the word goddess and why each and every one of us is a divine being. Dr. Bree travels multiple worlds, bringing through the unknown ancient knowledge and messages to help you remember who you truly are and live life with truth, trust, and passion. Now, Here's your host, Dr. Bree Gibbs. Valentine's Day. Maybe this isn't the type of show that you would do on Valentine's Day, but it's a five day in the goddess light numbers. So, which means of love. And so, um, you know, be, and bringing love to humanity right now is really important, I think, so much. So today I have a special guest, Gregory Paul Martin, who did an astrology reading for me. I had no idea who this man was. A friend of mine did a uh, uh, chart with him, and I saw it, and I said, okay, I'm going to try. And it was great, because what happens is, which a lot of my listeners know that sometimes I see things a year or five years or 10 years ahead of time that's going to happen with me or with other things that, you know, energetically with the planet. And, you know, I have to let and he read my chart and told, actually not read my chart, but told, did my chart and told me about myself. It was like a confirmation. And there was more things that he said and that made more sense to me. And it put things in perspective. And so I've listened to the tape over and over and over several times. And every time I listen to it, I got something out of it even more. So I have to let, you know, Gregory know that what he did was actually the things have already come into creation and manifesting. Something happened to yesterday. Something's happened today. That was really great. And, you know, and I was like going, okay, he hit it on the nose for the 14th. And I'm going, you know, one day earlier and then now today. And it's like, you know, I was totally surprised by the phone call that we got today at center. So, you know, many things, you get things in readings and you hear about them and you go, okay, that resonates with me. That doesn't resonate with me. Take what resonates with you and the rest, you know, you never know if it's for you or not for you. You, Your chart is your chart, but it's not like something you, you have to stick with. But with the chart I got, I'm sticking with. (laughs) <laughs> so <I'm, laughs> it was great. So hi, Gregory. How are you doing? Oh, doing very well, thank you. <laughs> I, I'm trying to go by the notes, and you're starting to laugh, and I'm going, "Okay, here we go." <laughs> oh, no, no, yeah, that's a funny thing. You should you should stick with your chart. It's a great chart. Thank I mean, you. You have no choice but to stick with the chart fundamentally, but of course, it's just a starting point. You know. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So how are you doing? Very well. How are you? I am fine. So. Um, that, that chart was ama- is amazing. And I was like, going, okay, I had to get that out. And so if anybody wants a reading done by Gary Paul Martin, get a hold of him, guys. Get a hold of him. Yeah, and I propose that. Let me just say this, that um, I'm, this is something that I've only been doing on a one-on-one basis for, mm-hmm. for a relatively short period of time because I decided uh, long ago that it would, this would be a, a, a private this gift that I have, which is extraordinary, would, would be a private thing for me. And I, my world is is literature and theatre and film and television. I have my own television and film production company in London, and I'm very very busy. But I knew that I would do it at some point, offer it publicly because this was this was told to me about 35 years ago by the only person I ever worked with who was a teacher to me. And he said he said you'll probably do this at some point uh, because you know you you just won't be able to stop because you know how much you know how gifted you are I know you know how you can help so many people so it's coming to an end now so if somebody does want to have a personal reading with me they should do it I mean they should contact me or my wife Cherie uh, um, at CherieRoseMartin at gmail.com immediately because I'm going to stop I mean it's like it's stopping at the end of 
February. And um, what we decided to do was, because it's 2019, just, you know, because most people I speak to, many people I speak to can't afford what I, you know, generally charge people in my world. But um, so we, we just offer it for $219, I think, for the end of February, like a special thing. Mm-hmm. To the if they want to do that, then just, but they have to do it fast because I'm just, you know, it's, it's going to end in February. <laughs> it's going to end. Yeah. Huh? Well, it's going to end the sense like, you know, I'm going to, cause I'm just too busy doing other things that I'm doing. That's why I wrote the book that, you know, mm-hmm. we, which we'll speak about later. You know, I just wanted to put everything I know in one, you know, one, but it's been tremendous to actually help so many people. But if they want to have a reading, they should move fast because I'm just going to, I'm going to get booked up. I can tell by 14 days left of February. Right, right. And, and again, and speaking of that, that's why it was highly, you know, the fact that you and I met when we met, mm-hmm. there are no accidents. So this is, you know, I know, I knew that I had something very, very important to tell you. Mm-hmm. And that if you listen to me, it would change your life. And, and, and the crux of it is this is the information I'm giving in this webinar on Saturday. Because astrology is just a, a beginning and, and it's, just a, it's just a jumping off point. And people need to understand that literally they're creating their own lives 24-7. And, you know, the chart does not, it's not a prison. It doesn't dictate what you do. And the whole, the whole discovery in quantum physics of, of many, many universes, infinite, infinite universes, infinite selves, that's the core. Of it. And if you can learn how to try and if you can learn how to put yourself on the ideal future for yourself and the ideal future for your country and the world, which is what I'm going to be teaching on Saturday, the one your, your webinar you're attending, then the chart, in a sense, doesn't matter anymore because you've stepped outside of the chart. I mean, that's, that's what any great master does. You step outside of the chart. The, the chart always exists as your potential and your challenges, but you've transcended it, you see. That's mm-hmm. the point. And I, and I don't know any other astrologer who has ever... You know, spoken about this or told this. Well, it's going to be really interesting. Um, and thank you for letting us know about the, the ending of, of, of um, readings, yeah. your readings and stuff. I think it's really important. You know, um, we, we have a few minutes before this, but I want to talk about your, um, your book because I read through the lines of your book. And so I got, I think it's positive in a lot of ways. So could you tell us why you wrote this book? Watch it come down. Yeah, well, because it's a distillation of, 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 of the many lifetimes I've had as an astrologer going back to the time of Christ. Um, the only person I ever worked with is I said, this one person who's a genius astrologer, uh, you know, he's very much, much younger. You know, he said to me, he used to call me a magi, you know, like you know, one of the wise kings, you know, one of the kings, astrologer kings. Yes, I understand magi. Point of Christ. Mm-hmm. So, so, uh, so I wrote the book because I wanted to uh, distill all, all, all my knowledge in just like one document. But I also wanted to discuss about I wanted to discuss what was inevitably going to happen with America, what was inevitably going to happen with Trump, because it's just interesting from a psychological point of view. There's the two reasons it's called Watch It Come Down, because Watch It Come Down is what's going to happen to him. Watch It Come Down, that's the name of the book, is, is what's going to happen to America, because America is dying and is going to be reborn. And there's nothing to be afraid of in that. It just has to happen. It, it's in the chart of the United States of America. But I also, it's also about Watch It Come Down to do with astrology and consciousness, because astrology is misunderstood. I mean, astrology is like very, very, it's, it's, it's an incredible tool for understanding yourself, but it's very, very limited. It, it is like, you know, we're, we're dealing with a very ancient science. And again, you're talking to a man who's had many lifetimes, going back to, you know, Ptolemy and, and Alexandra. You know, I mean, I, I know where I've been with this stuff. So, but it's, it's, we're evolving. And it's like, you know, you are not, you, you, there is no set future for you. Anybody who ever tells you, I can tell you like the energy that was unfolding for you, but any specific event, apart from your death, which I would never tell anybody about. But, it, the, you know, nobody can say that because you live in a world of infinite probable futures. This is where quantum physics comes in. And that's why I wrote the book, because we're in the middle of this huge transformation of consciousness, which is literally the, mo- the most profound and important conf- uh, transformation in the history of, of, of the human race. And it's happening at the, at not a moment to assume because we're on the brink of self-destruction. So I wanted to explain 
And so what you come down applies not only to America of death and rebirth and, and the, what you come down with, the, you know, the farce of Trump, but also with the whole uh, understanding of consciousness and astrology because astrologers don't understand astrology. Oh, wow. But don't you think any, I, this is my a question I have. Don't you think with the universe and everything that's happened, it wouldn't have mattered who was in office at, during this time? No, I don't think it doesn't matter. But I, but I think that it, he's perfect because he is, as I write in the book, he's perfect in this sense mm-hmm. that you, you finally, look, America, if you look at, and again, I go into this in depth in the book, as you know, and, and the reason the book is like very in your face, look, you know, you got to wake up is because we're living in a, on, a, on a timeline that is mm-hmm. disastrous. And if you stay on this timeline, this is why this webinar is so important, because people need to wake up and understand. The reality is you can, there are multiple, multiple infinite, infinite futures for you. And you need to shift to a different future where America is healed, where the environment is healed, where the, the proliferation of weapons is over, the whole thing. That exists. And but people need to know how to do that. And in the webinar on Saturday, I'm going to teach them how to do that. Uh-huh. But, but you see, the, the in, in America, because America is unconscious, it's a country's unconscious. You can't like you can't make decisions for itself because it's and America is so fucked up and it's sitting on you know 248 years almost. I mean, like that's the that's the, the cycle of, of Pluto, which is like you know 248 years of <laughs> um, denial. Denial about the roots of it, the violence in the country, the violence, the country, you know, the, the genocide of the Native Americans. It was, the country was built. All of this. I mean, you, you've read the book. It's, mm-hmm. it's so the country is going through a complete death and rebirth. So Trump. The reason Trump is a perfect president is because you know this this um, iniquity, this this you know astonishing depravity and sordid, all the all the crime and corruption. Not just in politics, obviously, but primarily in politics and Wall Street, on Wall Street, it's been going on for you know hundred years, more than that. And you see, finally, you have a president, a so-called president, and he's got no clothes on. You know, the emperor has no clothes because he, it's obvious that he's a criminal. It's obvious he's corrupt. It's obvious he's a liar. You know, he's like you know. But America's like going, oh my god, what do we do? It's the country's having a nervous breakdown. It needs to have a nervous breakdown because the corruption in politics. Has been particularly, and on you know, in, in, with the big oil and and the, and, the, and Wall Street has been going be going on for ever since the Federal Reserve was created in 1913. I mean, this is a huge moment for America, and I wrote the book again primarily because I wanted people to understand it's going to be very very rough, but it, it is going to continue. It's going to get worse, a lot worse, but it needs to go. The country needs to go through that. Uh, so. It wouldn't have mattered, and the, but he's the perfect president. Don't ask a good question. Sorry. No, I understand what you're saying. Um, we need to take a quick, a quick break. We'll be back sure. with more <laughs> of it. Paul Martin and myself, <laughs> Dr. Bree. See you in a few minutes. <laughs> okay. I wonder if we went on break. Should come down by Gregory Paul Martin. It is always darkest before the dawn. A swift, intelligent, compelling read. Watch it come down is a shot in the arm for all those grappling with the chaotic state of America since Trump won the 2016 election. With astrology more popular today than ever. A third of Americans believing in the stars, $300 million a year spent on books, seminars, and readings, the market for this book is extensive and comprehensive, ranging from the large numbers of millennials turning to astrology for answers to the challenging questions in their lives, 
to all the middle-aged and baby boomer readers of coffee table astrology books with the potential added bonus of every intelligent, curious, open-minded person who voted against Trump or voted for him and now regrets it. The 17th century English astrologer William Lilly foresaw the crushing defeat of Charles I at the Battle of Naseby and the rise of Oliver Cromwell. The German astrologer Elspeth Ebertine predicted the murder of Tsar Nicholas II and Hitler's rise to power. In a similar fashion, Watch It Come Down is destined to become a classic of astrological prediction, accurately forecasting the inevitable fall of Trump and the rebirth of America from the ashes of its former self, explaining why Trump has come to power at this time, the energies in his chart that presage his ineluctable end, and what will have come to pass by the end of 2020 as America emerges from its preordained dark night of the soul into the light of a bright and brilliant brand new day. Watch It Come Down by Gregory Paul Martin. Do you want the knowledge and wisdom to understand where spirituality, science, and psychology intersect? Then join the Karmic Path Radio Show with Tina and Laura on TransformationTalkRadio.com, Thursdays at 4 p.m. Pacific. Follow this charmingly, disarmingly dynamic duo as they explore how psychic ability, spirituality, and karmic law tie together. For more information on Tina, Laura, and their groundbreaking work, visit TheKarmicPath.com. What is holding you back from living the life you are meant to live? Why is it vital to believe in something bigger than yourself? Are you in physical or emotional pain? Tune in monthly to Vibrant Purposeful Living. Awaken the vibrant life within you with Lou Paradise and Dr. Pat on TransformationTalkRadio.com. Lou's passion is to help everyone experience positive solutions for life. Find out more about Lou with Vibrant Purposeful Living at LouParadise.com. Welcome back, everyone. So we have a question that came in from one of our listeners. On November 8th, Jupiter returned to Sag. And will there be there? Let's see. And will there be there all will be there all year? What is the impact on this individual and globally? What is the impact of Jupiter and Sagittarius individually and globally? Yes. Well, individually, you can't possibly say unless you know the person's chart so i mean okay. I, you know, there's a, you know um globally i'm mean, you know, globally again i mean like you know everybody's every country's like the united states has a chart you know england has a chart you have a chart i have a chart so it's all relative to the chart i mean jupiter and sagittarius because the rules sagittarius are all about law you know i mean fundamentally law Mm-hmm. But it is it is also the jolly green giant of the zodiac. You see, those kind of questions, I, I mean, if you think, with all due respect to the person who's asking it, it's like it's it's kind of like people who buy into these stupid weekly, monthly, annual columns that every astrologer writes. And I wrote about I wrote about this in the book with the goddess Susan Miller in America. You can't do this stuff. I mean, this is this is that's like tittytainment. It really it's like I mean, it's you know I say tittytainment. It's like it's like Game of Thrones. It's like it's just it's it, it's 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 um, trivializing. Uh, something that's very profound. You can't say this is going to happen for a Sagittarius. This is going to. You can't say that. How can okay. you possibly predict what's going to happen for one twelfth of seven point eight billion people? You know, there being twelve signs of the zodiac. So it's a very general question, and you know, you can't. It, it's almost you, anybody. Anybody who's, who tries to ask, any astrologer, frankly, who tries to ask that question is just bullshitting the, the, the person who's asking it. You can't. I mean, it, 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 you can't answer that question. Okay. Well, let's that's another reason why I wrote the book because I'm telling you, mm-hmm. 99.9 percent of astrologers out there don't know what the hell they're talking about. They're just trying to make money. 
So do they use a special chart for th- things like that? Like you come from Christ time, you know, when you've d- been doing this since Christ time with you as a right. man. Okay. Right. So is there like with you doing it, is there a difference between the way you do it and the way somebody else does it then? No, it's like it's like uh, no, 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 no. I mean, well, yes. I mean, the sense of I guess what what I bring to it. Uh-huh. Um, uh, but you know, somebody like uh, and I'm, you know, I don't mean to go on about it, but she, I mean, she just, it, it just Susan Miller's like you know, this like she's the most marketed astrologer in America. Uh-huh. Just developed a certain amount of knowledge uh, from reading books or you know, studying with people who've read the same books, but she's not. It's not that profound. I mean, like you, you know, it's like almost like Stella Adler. Stella Adler, the great acting teacher who taught Marlon, you know, she was like Marlon Brando's only only teacher. Right. She said, you know, I didn't teach Marlon anything. I just, you know, I just pulled out of him what was already inside him. You can't teach acting, you know. Um, so I, I, you know, I guess it's it's the same. I'm looking at the same chart, but it's always instinctive. I mean, I, you know, I. I, for example, with you, when I was looking at your chart, I, I just get messages. I know exactly what to focus on. I know mm-hmm. exactly what what to emphasize. And, you know, I know if I go on about this and, 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 and teach the person like you, the, the, the chart is like something you're going to bust out of. If you understand it correctly, there is no preset destiny and you're limitless. You're limitless. You're limitless. That's why it's different. You know, okay. most people just parrot the same thing. Okay. Okay, so uh, let's go back to Trump a little bit. Um, sure. President Trump, I want to go back. Okay. <laughs> Just one question I have, really. So we have free will. And in your book, you talk about how he lost his free will. How did that happen? Well, because he's unconscious. I mean, look, it's like, you know, if you're, if you're look, you are somebody, clearly, who, even if, you, if I didn't see your chart, just talking to you, I would know that you are somebody who's done a great deal of work on herself spiritually. I mean, you, you're very much on a spiritual path. Thank I call you. him a spiritual Neanderthal, and God knows, I mean, you know, most of Congress are spiritual Neanderthals. The, 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 anybody who has not done any work on themselves doesn't have any free will because they don't understand <laughs> that they ju- they think they do they, because the egos are running the show. The ego is saying, oh, yeah, I can do whatever I want. But they because they haven't done any, they haven't come to consciousness, they don't realize that they're actually not the, they're not the person they think they are. They're way more than that. The chart will play out. And that's why, and this, again, to go back to, to the, the what you come down uh, in terms of Trump, you know, the, what you come down being the title of the book, I got so uh, sick, sick to death of reading all these stupid astrologers like Susan Miller saying that Hillary Clinton was going to win when I could see very clearly Trump was going to win, but then he was going to totally collapse and it was going to be worse than Nixon by the end of 2020. That's why I wanted to document that because nobody was seeing that. And that's in his chart. You see, a person, like a country is, is unconscious, so what's happened to America is inevitable. But what's inevitable in your chart, because you've done work on yourself, you know, you, 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 you're, you're, you know your way, you've gone beyond the chart you're not, your life is not dictated by the chart. But for somebody like him, it looks astrology and goes like, this is fucking bullshit. Oh, it's, oh sorry. Excuse my love. <laughs> this is, this is, by, I forgot that bit. I mustn't say bad words. But <laughs> I'm Celtic, forgive me. <laughs> so am I. <laughs> okay, anybody who's just like, you know, they, they're going to, they, they're going to come a cropper. The chart is going to take their future. So that's why he doesn't have free <laughs> <laughs> okay that's great i had to laugh anyway thank you i'll think i'm the same thing so we're we're good yeah, no, i won't do it again miss i promise okay <laughs> we'll try to make sure right so um <laughs> the thing is is can he go back and receive his free, his free will that's well, he could. Yeah, no, he could, but he's not, he's not going to because not going to, yeah. because look, look, if I was speaking to Mitch McConnell or look, look, I'm just talking about Republicans because the Republican Party, look, we're living in the darkest incarnation of the Republican Party in the entire history of the United States of America. I mean, you, you have to be an idiot not to see that. It means like it's just so if I was speaking to Mitch McConnell or Paul Ryan or you know, uh-huh. Trump Jr. or Jared Kushner, they, they look at me and they go like, he's a, you know, this guy's a freak. You know, you know, what are we we're talking about astrology? They have no idea. They have no idea. I actually 
did the chart of Alexandra Ocasio-Cortez because I was so fascinated by her and I knew I'd get the right information because her campaign manager was an energy healer. So I actually, mm-hmm. you know, I've actually been in contact. Someone like that is open to it because, and you can see it because she's progressive. Mm-hmm. So, but these, 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 these spiritual Neanderthals, and it's like, it's, you know, they're not going to, they, they could, they can I mean Trump could, but you know, he, he has such a, um, you can see in the chart, such an enormous black bag, you know, the Jungian shadow, but the stuff he's hidden is so huge that he's like, he, there's no way. I mean, there's no way at this point. And that's why he is, and that's why it's going to be spectacular. His, I mean, just like spectacular. Everything, in my opinion, everything in the Steele report is true, including the, the, the hookers, you know, peeing on the bed and, and the Moscow risk off. Yeah. I can say he's peeing. I can, not yeah, you sure. can say that, but I'm going, to, yeah. Yeah. Um, you know, and including the girl, the uh, the Katie, the Jane Doe, who claimed that Trump raped her over a four month period when she was thirteen at uh, Jeffrey Epstein's parties, mm-hmm. uh, who you know was was threatened, had a life threatened when she brought a lawsuit against her. all of it, all of it. It's just like because, and that's right. why, and again, that's why it's symbolic of America's you know you know death and rebirth. I mean, it's 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 going to be an extraordinary period we live in. Right. Um, and, you know, the thing about it is when you keep talking about the death and rebirth and stuff, it's just like the dark. It's a dark night of soul for, for isn't America. it actually for the whole world? Not just. America. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it is, unfortunately, because America has, you know, is, you know, is running the world and has run the world since the end of the Second World War. And all this has gone into in the book. It is that. And again, that's why. You know, I spoke to a woman a couple of days ago who said to me was I, I was offering to coach her in a, in uh-huh. a story. And she said she was, you know, she she had to stop reading my book because it was so intense. And I said, look, you know, the whole point about your, the interface stuff in the book about the environment, um, you know, uh, you know, because it, you have to you have to look at it and then realize that you can change that. So you have to look at it. You can't, you know, get distracted by all the garbage on your newsfeed on the iPhone. I mean, this is just, you know, you've got right. if you don't look at it and do something, you know. So, but so the but the point is this that you you know. You can, and again, this is why I'm doing the webinar on Saturday. The last chapter of the book is called Which You, Which America, Which World. A quantum physics has proven we live in a, in, a, in a multi-universe. And literally, this reality that you and I are currently living on is not the only, by far from it. And right. you, you need to learn how to jump to another reality where all this stuff is, is like cleaned up. And this is not Pollyanna, Mumbo, Jumbo, New Age bullshit. Right. Nonsense. You- <laughs> After that, we're going to take a break. <laughs> All right. No, I said nonsense. I, I said bullshit. <laughs> we're going to take a quick break. We'll be back in just a few minutes. Thank you. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, because I, I just suddenly remembered as soon as I. to the Astral Insider, your portal for adventure, insight, and growth with Fernando Albert. And get ready to tour the astral realm, expand your life in ways you've never imagined, and call in for the journey of your life with this world-renowned lucid dreamer, astral projectionist, psychic medium, and healer, Fernando Albert. This is every second and fourth Monday at 9 a.m. Pacific on TransformationTalkRadio.com. How would you like increased health and vitality? How would you like to avoid the onset of disease as well as slow the aging process? This is all possible through a simple, safe, and natural process. Every day we are either moving toward wellness or away from wellness. Hi, I'm Mary Jane Mack. I'd like to be your partner in achieving optimal health. Contact me now at MaryJaneMack.com or call 425-392-0659. Visit MaryJaneMack.com. Demystifying the journey on From Here to There Radio with your host, Diane Garris. Tune in every third Wednesday, 4 p.m. Pacific Time on TransformationTalkRadio.com as Diane helps you get from where you are now to the life you envision. Get ready to get unstuck and move forward. Every show features a new special segment, New Age Notes, demystifying hot metaphysical topics of the day. For more information or to work with Diane, visit DianeGarris.com. 
If you have a sense that you are meant for more, join Heather Allison every third Tuesday at noon Pacific as she explores an ancient, forgotten energy within us and helps us access our original archetypal blueprint. The Golden Path will help you remember the key to unlocking your life, love, success, and magic you were meant for. A key to unlocking your golden path. Visit heather-allison.com. Are you your story or can you change your story? Can you change what you believe to be true about yourself and your circumstances as part of your healing journey? What if you were to change your expectations? What if you were to invite ease and cooperation into every day and then step back and see what happens? It might just be easier. I'm Megan Edge, and I hope that you'll join me on my new radio show, Playing on the Edge, Radical Change with Ease, with my co-host, Dr. Pat, on Transformation Talk Radio. I look forward to seeing you there. Want to find out more about Megan Edge? Visit her website at meganedge.ca. Okay, we're back. So, um, Gregory, during the break, you said you had a great joke. Uh, oh, no, he's broke. Did we lose him? Okay, so hang on a minute, um, listeners. I really appreciate this. Uh, looks like we lost Gregory Paul Martin for just a few minutes. In the meantime... Um, we're just going to keep going with this. I mean, he's an amazing astrologer. He's funny and at the same time, and he's made it where it's more lighthearted. And that's what I really like. Um, you know, watch it come down. We've heard about the three days of darkness and this is the one day that we have to have to come down. But he answered, um, a question that I wonder in my own mind, I'm thinking, did watch it come down. It's about the three days of darkness that we're going to go through. And it's around the same timing that a seven dimensional being that I work with, uh, Master Guy Creole, I actually call him Fred Sterling, challenged him, is saying the same thing. And so, um, you know, I think that this information that we have today is really important about that because, you know, we're in the shift right now. And we're like um, over the halfway mark and we keep going more and more and more. And every minute it goes on, you know, a certain way. And it's like, you know, I'm looking forward to the change. I'm looking forward to children knowing that there's a better future for us. And hi, hey, you're back. Thank God. Sorry about that. That's okay. I just was. Can you see me? Okay. Um, not yet, but I can hear you. Okay. There we go. So I was just talking about the ch- what you're so- talking about, and then I was talking about how children are going to have a better future and, you know, different things was coming up because I was telling, just talking about the three days of darkness that we're going to face also. And is this still leading to it? You know, I was kind of wondering because I worked with a shaman out of Hawaii that channels with Master Guy Curiel, and it's amazing because your dates are almost – the, the beginning of the three days of darkness that we're spo- that we'll go through also. Mm-hmm. And it's like those dates coincide, you know, mm-hmm. almost by maybe a five year span different. Right. But mm-hmm. we need to go through that. So things can change and children will have a, you know, I don't know, it's going to be kind of like a utopia once the three days of darkness That's right. is. That's right. And you, th- you know, when I read your book, I'm saying it's not all doom and gloom because it's actually things that I've been waiting for. You know, we've all been waiting for that. You know, we're having right. the one. And right. I had somebody ask me earlier, you know, is this where we're going to be able to see our loved ones? Yes. They might be on a different dimension somewhere else. So my mom is a master angel. 
and she's hanging around on the sixth dimension on the angel realm, right? Where she's going to be up higher, but she's getting people ready to, to in- incarnate, you know, to come down here and be on the planet. So it's kind of mm-hmm. interesting. So that's what I was talking about why you were frozen. <laughs> We lost you. Okay, thank you. <laughs> I just realized I shouldn't have said that. I shouldn't have made a comment about it. I had a sweet joke about Jesus. I, think I know. I, now, now, go ahead. Your comment with your your little joke about Jesus. Your sweet joke. You want me to tell my joke? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, Jesus dies and goes to heaven, and he's um. Of course, he's happy to be in heaven, but he's missing everyone on earth, including his obviously disciples and Mary Magdalene and his, his, his family, his parents. And he's sitting alone on a park bench in heaven one day, and this old man comes up and sits next to him. And he says, uh, the old man says, you know, hello, Sonny. You're looking very sad and miserable. What's the matter? And Jesus says, well, I'm, I'm very glad to be here in, in heaven where I belong, but I, I, I miss everyone on earth. You know, I, I miss my disciples. I miss my wife. I miss my father and mother. And the old man goes, do you know, when I was alive on earth, I had a little boy just like you. <laughs> and Jesus goes, really? You know, my father was a carpenter. And the old man goes, really? Well, I was a carpenter. <laughs> and Jesus goes, Daddy? And the old man looks at the holes in his hands and feet and says, Pinocchio. <laughs> <laughs> well, Welcome to Gregory and Paul Martin. There. I think Jesus would like that joke. I mean, I really do, you know? I, yeah, I think Jesus it. had a sense of humor. Of course he has a sense of humor. A lot of people think um, that he does not, as a, as a medium, you know, I am. And, yeah. you know, and he he's... I can feel him laughing right now. I'm sorry. It's yeah, of course. I'm <laughs> sure. <laughs> right now, and my guides and everybody all behind me. So, you know, the one thing I think about is you had to play a double life for a while there, where you had to hide certain things from everybody. And, you know, I'm going, how many times have we had to do that? You know, hide things mm. of what we do. And mm. I'm so glad that I don't have to hide, you know, yeah, 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 yeah. that stage. And with my mother, I never had to hide. That's beautiful. You're very fortunate. I was very fortunate. Yeah. So, you know, but now you're coming out with all this great information. And I really believe that all of this is going to help others heighten their consciousness and awareness. Well, that's and that's really, well, again, to, to go back to what you come down the book, that is why I wrote the book. And, I, you know, I want to say this again. That webinar you're coming to with Teresa in tomorrow, day after tomorrow, I'm telling you, that is the most important webinar you'll ever attend, and it's the most important webinar I'll ever do. Because if people understand how to do this, and this is why we're here, we're here to learn that we are literally the creators of our own reality, this infinite, infinite, infinite potential. And it's confirmed by quantum physics. That's why I'm asking people to look at the video on my Facebook page, like the third or fourth post, which is of a quantum physicist called David Deutsch, who is, you know, the, the major proponent of the multi-universe, you know, physics is confirming all this. It's what Jane Roberts taught, like, you know, 50 years ago. It's, mm-hmm. it's, the, way, it's the way out. It's the key. It's, and it's, it's joyous. And it's fantastic. Um, you're here to learn all that. And, and it's like, it's just a, a glorious, glorious thing. I've actually lost track of what your question was. <laughs> <laughs> no, keep going. You're fine. So what, you, what were you saying? Though? What, made, what, you, you, what, were you, what did you say the last thing you asked me? You said... Holding that double life together that you had to hold together. You don't, yeah, you don't have to... Yeah, because it's like, look, I, you know, again, the reason I wrote the book is because this, I have so much to teach people and everything I do creatively... Is that so? So you know, I'm. It's you know, I'm. I'm writing a novel that involves all of this right now, and it's a huge thing called Cabal. It's about the the true history of the United States of America the last 50, last fifty hundred years, and involves the Kennedy assassination and nine eleven and all that stuff, which is all going to come out. Mm-hmm. But it's 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 you know, you have you have to inspire people, and people need to know that the world they're looking at, like you know, like particularly in America. You know, because being in Europe, you have a totally different perspective. That's why I'm here. But, you know, in America, I mean, my God, I mean, it's just relentless. I mean, it's just, it's incredible what, what's happening. You know, I mean, I remember America when I first came there in the 80s. It's a completely different country. And, you know, people have to, they have to see there is a way out. And they have to understand that they are in a position 
where they have to take back the power individually without getting too heavy because let's we mm-hmm. need a lot. But you know, we we have to take back the power, and and right. that's you know individually and en masse, and and it's all down. It's all your game. It's all in your mind. The whole thing is in your mind. True, true. I it know is. that the other thing is getting angry at someone. You're giving your power away. Yeah, absolutely. And I'm, so, you, right. So if you take an action that's going to, you know, um, result in a positive, a positive, you know, turn from negative positive, you're going to be just fine. So, um, can I just say one thing? It's like yeah. this. It's like this woman I was speaking to the other day, who actually was had an appointment with me. And again, this, this like as I wind these one on ones down, she she's somebody I've spoken to before, and she said that she'd read the book, and she 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 gave you know it's all five star reviews because it's it's a great book. And she but she 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 gave one of those reviews, but she said she had to stop. Because, you know, it was overwhelming, the first two chapters, you know, the Apocalypse Now chapter. And let's, you know, and I said to look, the whole point of this is you have to look at it. But then I'm, I'm going to give you the tools to get out of this because it's all your it's your game. You know, you're here experiencing that because you've chosen to be here to experience that. And you can't get away from that. You need to want you're here to wake yourself up and realize that's the reality you're not going to be in. You've got to take action. But you've got to understand. Your, you know, this is not your future. This is not your future, and you can change it if you focus on the future that you, in, you, you know, relentlessly intend. It's right there. It's right there for you. Well, Nothing I know I'm, I, I'm focusing on my future big time. Let me tell you. <laughs> well, your future's focusing on you. You know, like we should. You know. So anyway, there was. Um, <laughs> There was another question I saw. Okay, so here's another question that we did have. Um, can we lessen the impact of what it is we experience is happening now? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, absolutely. I mean, that that's, again, this is why I'm doing the webinar on Saturday. It's really, I mean, there are other people out there who've, like, begun to teach this. But it's really simple to do. And, I mean, it's all embedded in the work of Jane Roberts and then the Seth material back in the 1970s on the spiritual level. It's all embedded in the work of David Deutsch, the quantum physicist, which is the video on my, my Facebook page. Mm-hmm. You know, it's, it's very, it's, you just have to. You have to. First, the first thing is most. It's, it's really extraordinary to me because I, I understand this so well, and I'm sure you understand it so well. Just naturally, that's why you signed up for the webinar. But most people, for some reason, have a really hard time accepting that this this truth that they're free. They just don't. They just they just they actually get freaked out by the idea that there's not one reality. They want to, for some reason, they want to stay in this fucked up reality. Oh, sorry. This, this screwed up reality that we live in. They want to believe they can't get out. And it's just simple to get out. And it's, it's actually, it, it really is simple to get out. Yes. And that's what, that's what, you know, your guides and the angels are all trying to get through to us. Like going like, you know, come on, wake up, wake up, wake up. It doesn't have to be this way. Right. I've been slapped on the head a couple of times. Let me tell you, when you feel yeah, your hair sla- <laughs> <laughs> And I've been slapped on the wrist a couple of times. This- <laughs> <laughs> All right. We're going to take a quick break. Okay. We'll be, be better. <laughs> we'll be back with more of us. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Are you ready to stop stress, anxiety, and low self-esteem from running your life? Join award-winning author Dr. Friedemann Schaub for Empowerment Radio and learn breakthrough solutions to switch out of survival mode and approach every day with great ease, joy, and purpose. Tune in the first and third Wednesday at 11 a.m. Pacific to Empowerment Radio with host Dr. Friedemann Schaub on Transformation Talk Radio. Visit the fearandanxietysolution.com to learn more. The Earth is an ever-changing being. Goddess Light Shamanic Healer Brie Gibbs guides us through the ascending worlds, bringing forth knowledge and truth. As a light creator, she is here to provide new information needed at this time in our evolution. Join Brie as she shares messages from guides, spirits, ascended masters, 
goddesses, and others. Tune in Thursdays at 3 p.m. Pacific for the Dr. Bree Show, The Goddess Emergence, and live the authentic life. Is traditional medicine not working for you? Do you still feel as if your health isn't 100%? Here at the Holistic Medical Center, Dr. Nushin Darvish and the qualified staff look through the dimensions of wellness and start a healing plan prioritized to your needs. Our physicians assess the whole you until complete health is achieved. Get the help you need by visiting drdarvish.com or call 425-451-0404. Tune in to The Jen Royster Show, intuitive guidance to inspire your life, each Thursday at 8 a.m. Pacific and 11 a.m. Eastern on TransformationTalkRadio.com. This amazing show is an inspirational hour that will take you on an epic metaphysical journey to discover the spiritual approach to life's greatest challenges. Dr. Jen is an internationally known intuitive counselor, spiritual teacher, and energy healer. Call in for intuitive readings and visit JenRoyster.com for more information. Welcome back, everyone. Um, so I want to talk, how can we teach parents that our children have a future and not give them any fear from what we've been talking about today? Mm. Well, you know, as we, as we know, children are much more open than we are. And I mean, this whole understanding that there is not just one future for them. They're like there's infinite choice, I mean, literally, and there's all those other futures exist. Actually, that's a great idea. I should write a book actually explaining the whole uh, multiverse, you know, many, many worlds uh, understanding in quantum physics for children because if they did understand that, that they're literally, you know, just because they're experiencing something difficult and hard, at this in, in this time, it doesn't mean that they can they can it doesn't mean they can't change they can change it like that. Of course, the mm -hmm. parents have to understand this first, but it's you know. But once they understand it, um, you know, fundamentally that that is the the that's what's behind the whole idea of that. You know, your challenges. Everyone has challenges. Like you were talking about your you know your experience with your children, and God knows I've been through it with with, with my son. Um, you know, th those are his, th their issues or the, you know, that they've chosen and our issues as having them with, ch with children. But it's, you know, the, if we can, uh, if we can actually share with our children the knowledge that they actually have total free will and they can change it and we can teach them how to change anything like that. Mm -hmm. Which again is again why I'm doing that webinar, which I keep saying is so important on Saturday because I've never done anything like this before. And I know, by the way, just to go back for a second, uh, do you, did you know who Jane Roberts was before I, you read about her in the book? Yes. You did. Well, a lot of people wouldn't. I mean, you would because you're very intelligent, very, you know, you've done a lot of, well, a lot of people, even in the so-called new agement, wouldn't know who she is. Um, I mean, Esther Hicks completely, you know, the Abraham stuff, she completely, I mean, don't get me started about that because, you know, she's everything comes from Jane Roberts. She's basically, you know, taken Jane Roberts things and created a business out of it. Um, but, you know, Jane Roberts was writing about this years ago and she didn't even, even understand what it was. I mean, she was a primarily a writer, but mm -hmm. she was deeply psychic. And I know that she is connected. I mean, I've been, I've been talking to her as I was writing the book. I mean, literally, this is like critical. This stuff comes through. And it is, you're absolutely right. It should be for children because if children understand that they literally are creating their own reality and they can change the reality according to their beliefs, their expectations, and their desires, and, and, and the, the understand that the universe is plastic. It's not like we're not in this you know, this horrible one road down to, to hell in a handbasket, the whole world will change. You're absolutely right. It's actually the most crucial thing. Okay. Because I think it's so important that our children have the knowledge that we have. Of course, and, yeah. you know, the other thing is I've had people say to me, you know, you need to come down to people's level. Uh-uh. I want them coming up to my right. level or above right. You know, so, um, so how can people get a hold of you? That's one question I want to get out there. Get that out of the way real quick. 
Um, well, the, the Facebook page, uh, you know, the, the Gregory Paul Martin Facebook page, but they can also contact uh, my wife. She does all the, the, the bookings for appointments, whatever. Um, okay. Her name is Cherie Rose Martin. So her email is Cherie, C-H-E-R-I-E-R-O-S-E-M-A-R-T-I-N at gmail.com. Cherie Rose Martin at gmail.com. She's also a travel, a luxury travel, you know, a consultant and designer. So she has her own. Um, webpage and her own um, her own blog called it's from Nada to Prada dot com, but you know basically contact if, either through my Facebook page or through that email address Sri Rose Martin at gmail dot com. Okay, so the Facebook page actually probably would be the best so people yeah to remember that one. Okay, yeah. great. Um, let me see. Is there anything else? You know, do you have a Valentine special offered? Do we have to oh, yeah, yeah. Well, that's what I was saying to you. I, you know, the because I'm stopping giving these one on one readings. Right. Um, I the one time the special offer was simply because it's 2019. You know, I uh, because I know who I am and I know what I'm giving people, I know it's very, you know, I charge, I suppose, relative to other astrologers out there, a lot of money. So, um, so I said to Shri, let's just do this thing where we the rest of uh, the next 14 days, if somebody books from the, in, in, in the next 14 days okay. an appointment, um, they can have it for $219 as opposed to 400 which is what I normally charge. Right. And um, so that's the Valentine's Day special offer. And, um, yeah, it's from the rest, rest of February. Yeah. Well, you know, I really enjoyed this, this live feed today and, and how much fun you and I had together. It was great. I could talk to you till the cows come home. Hey. That's an English expression. You know, uh, yeah, I've heard that one before. <laughs> I could, I could talk to the cows come home, and you know, let just just make sure that people know what's going to happen to you is so spectacular, and it's all like happening this year, and like you know, you know, you you know, as Trump's going down, you're coming up, you know. <laughs> Well, thank you very much for that. I appreciate that. Things are, are manifesting right now. Like I said yesterday, something happened. Today, something happened. And it's like, oh, my gosh. Okay. And I'm going to be seeing you. The webinar is 1 o'clock. Uh, if anybody wants to attend that, it's 1 o'clock Eastern time on Saturday, this Saturday, the 16th, or 10 a.m. Pacific time. 10 a.m. Pacific and time, correct. Come down. The details are on the uh, the Facebook page, too. Right. Yeah. So See check, out, check that out because I'm taking, Teresa and I are taking that class also. The other thing is, um, you know, the difference, he, your readings come from the Christ consciousness. I know that. And I'm so thankful for that because I come from the God's light with the Christ consciousness. And I'm thankful that yeah, you're a real thing. Thank you. Thank yeah, there's you. not many, you know, you know, there's, you, you are, uh, you're very rare. I haven't spoken to anybody quite like you before. But <laughs> No, no, no. I mean, the, no, I mean, I mean that in many ways. But I mean, you know, you're very, uh, you, you're the real thing. There aren't many real, the like, there aren't many of us out there. I mean, there's a lot of people who, you know, they, you know what I'm talking about. A, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you for the. You're thank very, you very real. You're, you're extraordinary, actually. Thank you, thank you. Yeah. So, everyone, I would say, you know. Watch it come down, get that book, and read through the lines. Don't look at all the doom and gloom in it. Read through the lines because there's so many positive things in there. I want to thank you, Gregory, for being with us today on my show. I appreciate it, Dr. Richel. It's, it's great that you were able to be here with me, and we'll have to set up another time. We can do some more laughing. <laughs> wow. and, his, and jokes. But anyway, so happy Valentine's Day, everyone. And have a great night, night and day to day or wherever you're at and where Gregory's at and, and he's going to, his wife will be home soon. So hopefully you're going to have a great night. Anyway, thanks Thanks again for watching and we will see you next week on the Dr. Bree show. God bless you. Thank you. You too. You've been listening to the Dr. Bree show, the goddess emergence. Join Dr. Bree Gibbs Thursdays at 3 p.m. Pacific on Transformation Talk Radio. Each show is designed to share and discuss timely key messages and truths. Dr. Bree brings forth gods and goddesses, ascended masters, and other communication our world needs. For more about Dr. Bree or the Goddess Emergence, visit www.drbreegibbs.com. That's www.drb.
briegibbs.com. And we'll see you next time.